So we're going to work on the IDEA software today so that you can do the Maidon oil field services testing. So this is what your screen looks like. Over here to the left you have your file explorer. It's kind of like your library where the data files will be. Over here to the right is where you're going to be able to look at pieces of your um, or um, aspects of your data and also the results of tests that you might run. And then in this middle is where the data is going to be displayed. So I don't have any files. Uh, you should have some sample files over here which you can right click on and delete if you like if you don't want to see them over here or you can just ignore them either way. You can resize these windows making them larger or smaller by just kind of grabbing them when you see those vertical goal posts. So you can make the middle window bigger or smaller, whatever you want to do. All right, so I clicked on something there. So what I want to do now is to import the file that I shared with you, the Maidon oil uh, field services file. It's an Excel file. So I'm going to go up here to this desktop blue plus sign. This is the import function. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to pick the format of the file that I'm going to be importing and that's going to be Microsoft Excel and then it's going to put a file name in there which is default which is not what I want so I'm going to click on the breadcrumbs here and go and pick, pick the file that I need so I've saved it in a file called the Maidon idea case I'm not sure what file you've picked um, and then hit next and it's going to come up with this wizard here. Now the, if you don't click this first row is field names then you're going to have a corrupt database. So when this wizard pops up um, if you click these other ones it'll pull in other sheets. Right now I just want the payroll data um, and the first row is the field name so you'll have to click on that and then you can hit OK and it will bring in, if you've done it correctly, you should have 987 records and the size should be 133. And this is, I haven't named it payroll, but you can tell from up here that it is payroll and you can rename it if you want. Um, that's up to you. So I can close this out and it will still be over here in my library. Um, and I can double click on that and that will bring it back. Now when you have other databases in here it's more important that you pay attention to what happens to be open at the time because as you get up here and start performing activities on the open database the one that's open matters. So that is your introduction to IDEA. If you're able to import this then you are ready to start doing some testing which we will do in the next video.